Ah, we meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Hmm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. The misshapen corpse under Stormvale. That is a sacred relic of the Black Knives plot, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the Golden Age of the Erd Tree, long before the shattering of the Elden Ring. Someone stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Maleketh, the Black Blade, and on a bitter night, murdered Godwin the Golden. That was the first recorded death of a demigod in all history, and it became the catalyst. Soon, the Elden Ring was smashed, and thus sprang forth the war known as the Shattering. I once wished to become a scholar, you see. I've spent many an hour scouring the archives for knowledge of that fateful plot. The world has grown crooked, and if you intend to put it to rights, you'd better understand what happened to make it this way. Hmm? And that thing is to blame for the shape I'm in now. I urge the utmost caution. Don't disturb the corpse more than necessary. Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time bound by our exploration of death, but our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. Dee was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. Always good to see you safe. So, this is a black knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City, a group entirely of women arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister rite. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Ah. Hello. I was hoping to see you. My examination is complete. Here's the knife print back, with my thanks. Now I have a fairly good idea who performed the rite upon the blade. The person who orchestrated the Knight of the Black Knives. Luna Princess Rani. One of the children born to King Consort Radigan and his first wife, Ronala. Demigod and sister to General Radan and Praetor Rikard. Hers was the name I discovered in the imprint. Truly, you have my thanks. But, if I might be so bold, I would like to ask something more of you. If Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. I would like you to procure it for me. And then, all will be laid bare. I will have the answers I have sought for so long. I have some idea of Rani's potential whereabouts. There's a manor to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It is the familial home of the Carian royals, from whom Rani descends. There's been talk of the old royals' vassals gathering there in recent years. Rani's whereabouts since the Shattering are a well-kept secret. She hasn't been seen even once. But I suspect she might have returned to the manor in which she was born. If Luna Princess Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. 
Would you be willing to procure it for me? She may have returned to the manor that is her home, the Royal Carian residence to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. I'm afraid there's something I must tell you. Do you know of those who live in death? The very notion of life in death defies the Golden Order. By Dee's account, these defiled fiends must be expunged. But truth be told, I seek the curse mark to save them. You may find this peculiar, but I discovered something in my examination of the Knight of the Black Knives. These souls have committed no offense. They have every right to life, only they happen to touch upon a flaw in the Order. Yes, indeed. If Dee knew what drives me now, he would surely boil over with rage, or perhaps he would even feel some pity. But no need to fret. None of that will come to pass. I can tell a good lie when I need to. Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? I see. When Rani shed her flesh, she shed the curse mark, too. You know, not everyone would trust such a tale. But if she in her current form is nothing more than the living doll you profess, then perhaps it's true after all. Hmm. Forgive the bluntness of the notion, but how would you like to become one of Rani's vassals? Ah, only in order to get what we want, of course. The location of the body which bore the curse mark, which right now I haven't the faintest. And the best way to find out is for you to enter her service and take a poke around on the sly. I know you've got what it takes. Not only are you a superb fighter, but people want to trust you. I've seen it. Can you become Rani's vassal to advance our agenda? While in her service, you'll be able to take a poke around on the sly and determine the location of her original body that bears the curse mark. I realize that I'm asking you to put yourself in grave danger, but I know you've got what it takes. Quite possibly the only one, in fact. Always good to see you safe, son. <sighs> Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. 